Hi, I'm Teddy Burris, your Google Workspace and Gmail strategist. And the question I got to ask this, if you start filling out a Google form, but you do not hit submit, will the owner of the form know you did anything? And I'm going to show you the answer in this video. But before I do, hit that subscribe and notify button because I'm creating these videos specifically for you. So here's a form I've filled out, I've created. It's a my peanut order form. And you can see I have nine responses. So I'm going to send this form to someone to fill out. And let's watch what happens as they fill it out. So to send it, it's really pretty easy. I'm going to just grab the link right here. I'm going to shorten it, make it easier to copy. And there's the form. So now I'm going to go and prepare to fill this out. Give me one second. Now I'm logged into Google with another Gmail account. This is my Teddy Burris at Gmail, my very first Gmail account. And I'm going to drop that URL in right there and hit enter. Google Forms automatically saves your progress for 30 days when you're signed into your Google account so you can work across devices or take a break without losing a step. I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to put my email address right here. It says saving, draft, save. I'm going to come back out and I'm going to come back in. And it kept it for what I put in there so far. Now hang tight. Let's go over and see what's happening with the form owner and what they can see. Here's the form owner. There's nine responses. There's no other indication that Teddy Burris at gmail.com is doing anything. Let's go to individual. Um, here's um, this is the first one I did, but didn't have an email address here. Let's go next. No email address. Next, next. Yep, no email addresses with Teddy Burris at gmail.com. This the form owner has no idea that anything is going on with that form. Let's go back to Teddy Burris at gmail.com. Let's do next. Now what's my name? Mr. Teddy at gmail Burris. Hit next. Now see where it says saving? Draft saved. I'm going to hit next. What's your address? So see right here it says saved. Let's, let's put my address in. 100 Main Street. Anytown. USA. See where it says saving? I'm going to hit next. Now I'm going to come out. This is pretty interesting. Come back in. Next, there's my name, there's my street, and I can keep filling this out again because I'm logged into my Google account, teddyburris at gmail.com. Google is saving my progress on this form only for me to see, not for anyone else to see. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this all the way out. It's already filled out completely. And the only thing I have not done is hit the submit button. Again, the form owner, there's always been nine responses. They don't know anything different until I hit the submit button. And the moment I hit the submit button, uh, a copy of your response will be emailed to the address you provide. So I'll get an email about it. But I hit the submit button. That is the only time the form owner will know I'm doing anything on this form or get actually any information that I put on this form at all. Now I hit submit, traffic lights, boom, boom. Your form has been recorded. Your, excuse me, your response has been recorded. Now if we go back to the form owner, it now says 10, and there is teddyburris at gmail.com. Bottom line, the question is this. If I fill out a form and I don't hit submit, Will a Google form owner know I did anything on the form? And the answer is absolutely no. I'm Teddy, your Google Workspace and Gmail strategist, trainer, and coach. And I hope this is helpful for you.